Hello there everyone and welcome to Scotch Sim Guy and I am doing a little tutorial video for you on how to use the Amazon DB9 3000 and 4000 uh, Super Seeders and these are great for if you want to be realistic especially if you're a British map farmer and you want to use tram lines now I have done a video on the eDrive liner before but these two seeders have tramline markers built in so I'm just going to do a little video on showing you how to use these uh, to put tramlines in your fields uh, and I'm going to use the 4 meter one uh, to show you how to do that and uh, how many passes you should be doing um, I'm going to set this up for having a 24 meter seeder so basically starting off with your Having a 24 meter cedar, you tram line from the edge of the field. The first tram line needs to, the center of the tram line needs to be basically 12 meters. So that is the center line of the sprayer or fertilizer spreader if you're using a 24 meter spreader. Um, so with that being 4 meters, the way you work it out, if you get one pass is 4 meters, second pass is 8 next one is 12 so at the edge of your steeder would be where the tram line is so basically what you have to do is you have to put a half pass in so with your four meter steeder i'll always do one pass right up the outside not using a ridge line marker at all and basically when you come back down and um, you're doing a half pass so you're using the edge of the seeding as your ridge line marker put that half pass in and to get you to 12 meters you need to do three and a half passes uh, with the four meter cedar now if you're using the 3000 the three meter cedar uh, doing 24 meter um, tram lines basically for your cedar or sprayer that would be four and a half passes from the outside into your um, first tram line basically so I always do one full and then do a half one and, um, and then continue from there so this one here you'll see me I'll put the ridge line, ridge line marker out drop the cedar and run down that half pass We're running down that half pass um, and then it'll be two full passes it'll be one more full pass after this and then the next pass I will be dropping the tram line markers to put my tram lines in it's the easiest way to do it, it's a lot easier using this nice little Amazon spreader than it is using the e-drive liner um, it's quite complicated, uh, quite hard to set up uh, and if you can find a cedar that's got built in tramline markers it does make a big difference and make it really a lot easier um, to put those in now as you work your way across the field and once you've got your first tramline marker in you're then every 24 meters so for the four meter this one that i'm using here you're between the pass of putting your tram line mark marks in you're every six so the next one would be one two three four five and then on the six pass you would be putting your tram line mark in and it just makes it great um i use it a lot, I've got a couple of maps set up on Somerset um, at Attingham Park and I like to use tram lines, I like to try and be as realistic as I can I only play British maps basically and I like to put tram lines in now this isn't the best field to kind of show you it's not the squarest but what you want to try and do is start off the squarest edge with a longest run um, and get that done and um, get a lovely nice straight line and um, basically the way this field works out is I kind of zigzag and across as it gets further and it's just the lay of the land and basically the way the map's made and I always try and pick the straightest line and uh, get the tram lines so this one we will basically be dropping the tram line markers here so to drop the tram line markers I'm playing on the Xbox um, so I'll be uh, LB 
and um, you are basically pressing a cross on your left analog stick, or is it right, an right analog stick, and basically that then will drop the tram line marker down, and then that allows you to go. If you look on the menu, it doesn't really sh give you the option to show you how to um, drop that tram line marker, but just play about with it if you're PlayStation, Xbox, um, pretty sure it is, uh, if I remember rightly, on the, my Xbox controller, top, top left button, and um, either left across the way or right across the way um, on the analog sticks. So now, here's me putting the sixth pass in. Um, fast forward a bit, we've got that, done that end rig tram line, and we're now putting the sixth one in. Uh, so this is a sixth pass, at four metres, makes 24 metres, and we'll get this pass done down the field, and then basically what I'm going to show you is, is how to do your end drag tram line as well, because then you're basically going round the outside of the field, the three sides you haven't done yet, and doing the exact same as the first pass, you're doing three and a half passes, or in your case if you're using a three metre, you're going to do four and a half passes, and between your passes um, with the three metre, you're going to be eight passes to get those 24 metres uh, on light sticks for the four. So, first pass the same as the first pass in the field on the end rig, one full one, no ridge line marker, right round the outside, and then using that edge of the cedar as your ridge line marker. When you're doing your half pass, you're then dropping that ridge line marker round. So we'll basically fast forward a little bit, and we'll get um, doing the end rig tram line and we'll get that done on the three sides and you'll get the field basically completed. There are two great little cedars here, they don't hold a lot but they're ideal for people who want to put tram lines in and don't want to use the e-drive liner because there's a lot of turn and fro and pressing buttons to make sure it's not on and it can be on even though it's not activated on the screen uh, so it's a lot easier to make mistakes whereas this is visual, visual you can see drop the tram line markers and that's the tram lines going in last pass always don't put a ridge line marker down and with it being a square field it's I don't want it to turn too tight here and make the tram lines unrealistic um, but if you were wanting to make them really realistic in the corner you could put crop as you're driving along and tram line you could put crop destruction on just as you turn and that will basically give you a lovely curve down there uh, on the tram line to make it more realistic than what it actually is. These two cedars, arms and ones, uh, they are found on the mod, mod hub. Um, there is no, as I know, in-game cedars that have tram lines markers. There is another one uh, on the mod hub. I can't remember who makes it, but it's a 9 metre cedar with tram line markers. But 9 meter doesn't work out for what I like to play as I'm being realistically with a 24 meter um, sprayer so I can't get 9.24 very well um, so it's just easier to do that with this little 4 meter cedar um, used to use a 6 meter or an 8 meter um, with the e-drive liner uh, I think you'll see in my, my, one of my previous videos of doing the e-drive liner you will see that I used, I think I used a 4 and an 8, an 8 metre cedar to show people and show how many passes were needed between between them all but that's just the gist of it guys if you do have any questions or queries about it just drop some comments um, in the comment section below but thank you very much for watching uh, and we'll see you again